Dear Crystal, brought to you by Uniball. Start your story. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got another letter. Dear Crystal, I am a follower and I truly enjoy your content because you make me laugh so hard. Yay! You don't hide your authentic self, and I'm so proud to see someone navigate this world in full authenticity, which is something you don't see often. It's gonna make me cry, girl. I appreciate you, and I'm grateful for this platform where you're allowing us to send letters in to read, which is my favorite, absolutely love it. It makes me feel like you're really listening, which I am. I put on my listening ears today, y'all. So I went through a difficult breakup years ago with my children's father. We had been together for several years and had three beautiful kids together. But in the end, we just couldn't make it work. Sucks when that happens, I'm sorry. Since we've been broken up, my self-esteem has not been where I want it to be. And I am very insecure about attempting to date, especially being a single mom of three. It's hard because he's been able to move on with his life while I feel stuck in a place of shame. I know my value and I'm confident in all other areas, but when it comes to dating, I freeze up. My friends say I self-sabotage. I want companionship, but I don't know how to get past the embarrassment of my current parenting situation. Do you have any advice for me? Please help. In need of love, Anonymous. Okay, Anonymous. I, first of all, just want to say I love you. Thank you for your bravery, for your, uh, your vulnerability. It's not easy to share something like that, even anonymously, but just to, to own your truth. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, babes. Um, so first of all, me having been married but not having any children yet i can't say that i completely relate but i do understand the the shame that we carry right especially as women especially as black women because there's this negative stereotype that you know we're baby mamas and we have all these kids and no man for whatever reason um so first i just want to tell you that be proud of you being an awesome mom because you sound like an awesome mom to me um second of all with dating right we already know, I've already told y'all, the dating pool is like chunky vomit, okay? There's there's just not a whole lot going on. And it's so interesting because for me, I'm finding myself starting over after the divorce, right? So I got married when I was 26 and I got divorced when I was 32. And now, just even a few short years, right? I'm six years in the future and everything is is different. My priorities have to be different. My needs are different and my non-negotiables are different. And it's scary. So like I can understand for you as a mom, you know, you carry this weight of, oh, I have these kids and I am tied to this other person for the rest of the time. And I don't know how to present that. You know, when do you talk about it? When do you say, hey, by the way, I also have three kids and you know, their father is in their life. And so there's this whole other person that I used to be with that is involved in my life forever. Um, you know, how do you introduce that? Just like for me, it's like, oh, by the way, I used to be married. And then it's like, well, why aren't you married anymore? And you know, what happened? What did you do? Ah, which is hard. Um, and then it's like now for me as a 33 year old, I have to be open to people who are, um, who were previously married and who have kids you know ideally i wanted a family with just me my husband and our kids and now it's like very likely that i will have a blended family and you know what that looks like or i'll be a stepmom and what that looks like so my advice first of all is to celebrate the win that you did what was right for you and that you are trying to create a safe and loving environment for your family for your children for yourself so yay you go you but then also i think you know, as scary as it can be, just be honest. Like what I keep telling myself, there are 7 billion people on the planet. Surely, surely at least one of them is gonna like align with me and they will be good with my situation. They'll be good that I, I have a past because everybody does have a past, right? So for you, there are people out there who are waiting and, and willing and ready and excited to get to know you and your children. They know that you come with a package deal. All I'm saying is like, okay, my unserious advice, my unserious advice, it, we run in a sale, okay? You get a special. What you're gonna do is build up the value, okay? You got a package deal. You got a package deal. Cause I'm sure your kids are probably funny and smart and beautiful. And it'd be like, look at this package deal. We all come together. It's a ready-made family, you know what I'm saying? Like men like ready-made stuff. Like, hey, guess what? Look at, look at, these are, these are, extensions of me you get even more of me to love that's i feel like that's a good it's a win-win you know what i'm saying 
sure there's a little more responsibility but guess what though like i'm i'm good over here like i've been doing a really great job and i'm just inviting you into our space i'm inviting you to love us to love me and to and to love all that i have created like look i made th these are my people i made them and i'm their leader and i'm inviting you into our space i think like just you made people you make your own people and you're their leader that's huge like i don't have my own people yet but when i have them i'll be like look what i made you know how like in art class you would like make macaroni you know art and be like hey mom look what i made guess hey mom i made a human like that's huge that's cool um and in the dating space there are people out there who will be okay with the fact that you have children that's normal it's a normal thing so i think you know just kind of like taking a deep breath and reminding yourself i think sometimes we forget there are literally seven billion people on the planet surely there are options for people who have children surely there are options that will align with you you i'm sure are a beautiful person anonymous whoever you are i'm sure you are a beautiful person um that has so much to offer and there are men out there who are ready and willing to step in and have an instant family and and so just just know that and another thing that i continue to tell myself because yes even me i've had some really terrible dating experiences over the last uh several months and um what i keep telling myself is that if the desire is in me to experience a great love then there must be a great love ready to be experienced and so i believe that for you i believe in second chances and i'm rooting for you i hope that that helps um remember that there are plenty of options out there even though it doesn't seem like it and your kids are a value add they are not a detriment they are not a deficit they are not you know they are a value add because they are extensions of the beautiful person that you are so i hope that helps thank you so much for writing in if you all want to write in send an email to my dear crystal at gmail.com or i'm thinking about opening up my p.o box let me know if you guys want to actually write letters because our sponsor uniball may be giving out some free prizes aka amazing pens and things to write with so that you can actually send in handwritten letters so i'll talk to you guys soon love you much thanks send in your letter for some fun advice at mydearcrystal at gmail.com